Hi, Capricorn. Getting ready to do your weekly reading. All right. Oh, you have the Three of Cups. Nice. Could be a date. Could be something that makes you happy. Three of Coin. Could be. There could be someone that you found chemistry or spark with and you are going out with them. Um, this may have already happened, though. So, High Priestess, but you're not listening to your intuition, Capricorn. Careful. There is an offer. So, and you're trying to figure out what to do with this person. So, this could be like somebody you've already dated in the past. Uh, maybe they're a player. Maybe this is a one-night stand. Because Four of Cups can mean like the same energy, the same type of offer coming in over and over. Let me go back around. Yeah, this is a player. So, you guys need to be careful, whoever this is. Guy or girl, the sun, queen of wands, wow, seven of swords in reverse, ten of swords in reverse, okay, so what I'm kind of getting is, you've been through this situation before, you've dated this type of person, this player, guy or girl, doesn't matter, you've healed finally, and now you're getting into the same situation again, all right, you've met someone, maybe they're really attractive, good looking, they can be a king or a queen, doesn't matter, um, you're excited because you've been talking to them. Now you think this is something new. It's going to go somewhere. But this is definitely one night stand only energy. So you're not listening to your intuition with the high priestess in reverse. And seven of swords in reverse is almost as bad upright with this kind of energy here. But this is about some, you're going to know. You're going to realize that this person, maybe they're going to say something that triggers you. You're going to realize this person's just a player. They don't want anything more than that. It's going to come to light, so I think you're going to avoid this situation. Now, this could be you. Maybe you meet someone, you really like them, you go out with them one time, you realize that that there's something wrong. You know, there's a screw loose. And you decide, you know what, I've been through this, done that, don't need this energy in my life again. And then you move on. You know, that happens. Sometimes you realize the person, just because you date them once, maybe they're not the right one for you. And so you say, you know, I'm done. So that could be you actually protecting yourself from someone. But I think still the main thing is that you didn't listen to your intuition or maybe you knew something was wrong. You took the chance. You realized, okay, they're not for me. I'm going to move on. So that, that helps you trust your intuition also more in the future. Uh, let me switch decks really quick. All right. Let me get a different uh, message for you guys. Capricorn. All right, we have a fire sign again showing up here. So Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But this card comes up also because a lot of dating. This person is usually friendly, warm, outgoing. You usually really like them at first. So fighting, Queen of Cups, the Devil in reverse, and the Four of Coin in reverse. Okay, Six of Coin is under the deck. So there could be um, a relationship that you're in that you're competing with another person, okay? Could be that you have an ex or someone who you like, but they're dating someone else. You're waiting to see if they're going to come back to you, that type of energy when I have two queens sitting here. But this is letting something go. This is letting a person, a toxic situation go that you know isn't good for you. Let's go back around. Yeah, three of coin. There's definitely three people. Knight of cups, lovers, okay. The strength in reverse and the sun. So for someone watching, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, <clears throat> it's almost like somebody let, it's like you were with someone, they left you for someone else. You really liked them. You're hoping they would come back. You finally gave up on it. You let it go. <clears throat> And now it's like they're coming back into your life and they've made a decision. And I kind of feel like this is you over here. Like they decide to come back to you. But just so you know, three of coin is communicating with a third party. It's not necessarily cheating. It's just communicating. They're in their picture. So you need to know that. But because I feel like they're coming back and you are happy. After you finally let this go, you didn't want to deal with it anymore. You're struggling in your mind. Here they come back with a cup. So let me see what happens. Hope This person still has hope. This person is actually, that's you sitting there. But this could also be you. The, yeah, I'm kind of getting you're the queen of cups because you're the one with emotion. So they may have left you for a fire sign. 
working on it. Yeah, because I feel like somebody, yeah, you're getting a second chance with somebody who's coming back around. They do seem like player energy, though, because I have a lot of queens here. It's like everyone wants this person, this guy or girl. So it's like this person is dating two, three people. Everybody wants them really bad. And so everyone hopes that they pick or choose them. It looks like they're going to choose you. You're sitting there. I kind of feel like this is also you because you feel emotional. But there's no matter what. Um, someone is willing to work on the relationship though, which is interesting. It may be you. But that's, you know, putting effort in. And Three of Cups is being happy. Now, Three of Cups can be short term, but still, sun next to it, happy. Something's growing. You want this to work out. Let me put one more card next to you just to see. Queen of Coin, Capricorn. Oh, King of Cups. So this could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could actually be someone who really does have emotion for you that does love you. So this is actually a very good reading. Um, so the only thing would be, there is someone else around that is kind of hoping for them. So they may get involved in the relationship down the line. You know, there may be still some communication going on between them. This person may not give up. It's not showing up in the reading, but because they have hope and there's still some type of communication, there's some type of tie to this person, they may appear back into your relationship. But for now, this is good energy. This is about something coming in, being very happy, putting in the work and effort, and um, it's kind of like you won. So, all right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.